Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Hey folks, I'm Raven. And for those who aren't aware, I played Don't Starve since about 2013 to 2014-ish sort of time I picked it up, whenever Sips started uploading it, if you're aware of who he is. And for as long as I can remember, I've had a morbid curiosity with the character Wes, and he just got an update. So I want to talk about why I think this is one of the best character reworks that Clay has ever done in their time of, well, since they've started reworking characters for Don't Starve Together. Disappointment in the game of life! Wes has always been a joke character. He's never been designed to be OP or even viable like the other survivors. But despite this, always had his own strong identity. His balloons were near useless but could be still used for his tricks and traps and little things that still mattered because they reinforced his identity as a mime and as a joke. And one fear a lot of people that liked Wes, or even just knew of Wes, or even in just general, a fear people generally had in the Dope Staff community was that if people reworked, if sorry, if Clay reworked Wes, he would lose that identity, or they would rework him to make him easier, or too hard, or he lose part of what made Wes Wes in a rework. But neither of those things happened. This rework has only reinforced his identity and made it stronger and funnier and made him go from a joke to a genuinely funny joke. And for those who aren't aware, the way they focused in on his personality and bringing this character to life even more without taking away from him by making him both more and less viable, but we'll get onto that later, is they focused in on one big part in the other day, which is the fact Wes is just really unlucky. That That is a big part of what he is. He isn't he isn't particularly skilled or a bad person or anything like that. He's just incredibly unlucky. And they added this into the game in ways that make sense, but are also fun and make sense as game mechanics for a character in the uh, Don't Starve world. Um, examples of this would be, he's more likely to get struck by lightning than other players. How waves will focus him more than other players? <laughs> so, you know, I think though... Uh, not only are these great changes for a challenge character to have because they bring West design into a more multiplayer focused game, but they're also just fucking funny. <laughs> Be a winner at the game of life. So West has always had the ability to create balloons, but previously all it really did was give you a way to go insane, or maybe if you could get certain, like hounds, you could maybe bait them into biting balloons and it would kill them for you, so you didn't have to worry about them. But the main use of um, the old balloonomancy trait that he had was purely just to go insane. It was 90% useless, 10% useful. But what they've done now is they've gave it a use, but they've also nerfed it. Which I really like because again, Wes is a challenge character and I want him to stay that way. He should continue being a challenge character. I don't want him to be like Wolfgang or even any of the other characters because he is challenging. That is the point of him. So how did they change this? Well, they've made it so now you have several types of balloons you can create. The one you can see on screen right now, um, it gives you a, like two minutes or so of speed buff basically you hold it in your hand like you would a walking cane and for about two minutes it will slowly use, lose durability and you'll go faster they've also added like a live vest and a sort of like i don't it's like a hat that will keep you dry it's kind of, but my point is is they've added a bunch of different crafting recipes for these items they all cost one pile of balloons and five sanity so none of them are expensive you start with a pile of balloons. They've increased the cost of crafting a pile of balloons, I believe now. I think it's four or five um, mosquito sacks. Either way, they both buffed and nerfed it, which I love. Um, in this section, I'm also going to cover the fact they've lowered all of his stats to 75. Great, it always confused me that Maxwell had less health than Wes when Maxwell, whilst a powerful character, isn't the challenge character Wes is. I like that they've brought him down to those stats. That's great. Sex for favors in the game of life! Right folks, so closing thoughts and wrapping up the video quickly, because I don't want it to drag on for too much longer, but basically, I think this is an amazing update. I think they have nailed this. I think this is better than I could have ever wanted it to, to be or ever wished it to have been. 
they've done so good. Lowering the stats, 100% agree with it. The balloon changes, 100% agree with it. The only thing that I don't completely agree with is that when you make the regular balloons, you know the ones that you used to just make infinitely, you can't make them several times over now. You can only make one of those once, but you know what? That's fine. They changed it and they were useful, so making a challenge character more challenging in a way that doesn't feel unfair isn't going to bug me too much. I'm okay with it overall. Anyway, this doesn't count as one of my normal videos, so you're going to get eight videos this week. For those who aren't aware, I will be uploading a new Don't Star video on Sunday, and I've got some other videos planned for Friday and Saturday. So hopefully you can enjoy those. See you there. Thanks for watching. And share any thoughts or feelings you have on this in the uh, comments, because I'd love to hear other people's opinions. Thanks. See you next time.